these guys have talked about food that they were forced to eat, um, watered down powdered milk, and uh, the pastor says powdered milk was made according yes. to package directions. It has been years since we used powdered milk. We now use store-bought milk. They said they saw bread that was labeled bird food, not for humans, sloppy joes with rice and no meat. They says we're not sure what they're talking about here, but we often purchase bulk grains uh, such as barley, oats, etc., to serve as hot cereals, uh, and that they said oftentimes you were forced to eat rotten lettuce or things of that nature, mm-hmm. right? Absolutely uh, spoiled. They say years ago we often donated large quantities of produce that needed sorted through. Uh, the bad lettuce would be thrown and the good lettuce was eaten. Sometimes large salads were served for several days, but they were chef salads with hard-boiled eggs, meat, beans for protein, etc. They, they lie. They exaggerate. A chef salad, they take a, go and cut a row of lettuce from the garden, put it in a lawn and leaf bag, throw it in the washing machine on the spin cycle, and then they would serve that to the girls. We could have all the lettuce we wanted on a plate with two halves of a hard-boiled egg, and then we had to write home to home that, that we had, had a chef salad for dinner. Uh-huh. Well, my chef salad had everything from broccoli, cauliflower, celery, everything else on it, and meat, eggs, all of that. I mean, it had sprouts. It was a pretty good-sized salad. I was there with Lucinda, and clearly we see things, you know, from a different perspective. He says no one has ever been made to eat bugs or rotten food. If a girl is sick, she's not required to eat all of her food, but is encouraged to inform the cook before a meal if she wants a lesser portion, or has the option to go to bed if too sick to eat, and if got sick from food, sometimes made to eat your vomit. He said no one was ever made to eat their vomit. That's absolutely and not true. If you did not eat a meal that was served to you, when that meal time was over, your meal was put away, and then that's what you got back for your next meal, ice cold. You had to eat that and then get the next meal and, and finish that in time. Otherwise, it just started compounding, so you'd have you know, part of these meals that were just building up. After a certain amount of time, they would just see it as rebellion if you couldn't, and you could just kind of wipe the slate clean if you agreed to a punishment. That happened one time with me, and I didn't see that happen often. But it so, did happen with you. One time. And it happened with you. And I saw it happen. So if you didn't eat your meal, you'd get it again, plus you had to eat what was served that time. Right. And if you fell behind, you might have five meals to eat. Right. No, you had or the you option could take a punishment. to right. eat the meal that they were serving. You had the option, you had to complete the meal that you didn't eat. And you had the option if you if you ate that and want because we could have seconds if you wanted the meal for that evening, um, eat the meal. We had seconds when we were there. And we you had said eating you had a contest. choice. When there I was, was there, no when there, I was there in no 2017, choice. if I did not finish a meal, regardless of if I had two or three bites left, that was the rest of my meal, my next meal. I did not get offered seconds. Uh-huh. I was offered the plate that I did not finish. 